Hello, and welcome to episode 28 of the Splendor and Unity Crash Course. I uh, just wanted to mention the last few episodes, so we had some weird stuff going on with our normal maps. So, uh, first of all, the reason this is this is projecting properly is an sRGB, when we're supposed to have this change to non-color data, and here we get the, uh, the strange effect that we're going to get in Unity. You can see this got like a crazy amount of shine and Fresnel, and it's just not projecting the, the texture properly. That's okay. I'm going to be honest, I'm not entirely sure how to fix this in Blender, but we have a one button we can check in uh, Unity whenever we bring in a texture, and that one button uh, will will basically turn anything into a good normal map. So uh, don't worry, the, the pictures are there, the data is there, we can we can fix that no problem at all. We'll actually use our, our painted texture here, and we'll even uh, create a bump map out of this so that we can uh, have some extra detail, kind of bring, in, uh, bring out the whites and, and punch in the dark colors. Uh, it's a really useful trick, so we'll uh, we'll do that as soon as we bring this into Unity. So don't panic about the textures. Okay, so uh, I guess the first thing we want to do before we create our rig, let's let's connect all these pieces together. Let's go into our materials tab. Now they're gonna it's gonna add a list of three right here. So as I mentioned before, we're gonna use this mesh as uh, with multiple materials, and we can see how that works in Unity. So let's go. Basically, just select everything and hit Control J. I'm gonna actually select the chicken last so that it uh, connects like that. I'm gonna change this to chicken character. Okay, now for all that work, we've actually got a, a pretty good setup here for a, a single character asset. So uh, just in object mode, shift A, we're going to add an armature. Okay, and that's going to give us a single bone if you remember. Now I went through a lot of this stuff already, so we're just going to kind of fly through it. Okay, so go into edit mode and take this bone. This will be our, our hips. Now uh, there's two different types of animation I'll mention right away. So you can use root motion, meaning when I move this, Basically, say this is his root position, uh, where, where his whole transform is going to be. I can use this uh, in animation as the transform in Unity. So if I move this forward, Unity will move him forward. right? But I'm going to use uh, coding for the movement. So uh, if that's the case for you as well, you just want to actually not worry about that. You can still create a root bone. But I'm just going to create this here and call this hips. I just want to maybe put it about there and call this hips. Okay, and you want to do your center first. So let's let's come up uh, right to his head. Um, the way he's shaped, I think we can just go straight up. But normally on a uh, on a skeleton on the spine, you're going to want to kind of curve it up the way the, the mesh is. Let's bring this up a bit. Let's actually bring this one up right to there. Okay, and that'll be his neck. F2. I'm going to rename this. You can hit F2 here as well to rename bones. So I'm going to rename this one uh, spine. Okay, turn in this neck, E and Z. I could probably bring this forward a touch. You need this one ahead. Okay, if you wanted to, to animate the face and the eyes and stuff like that, you can go ahead. We can wait till the end of the video and see how this all works. And then uh, come up with it there. So uh, what I want to do is go in here and make sure you hit N so that you can see your right hand toolbar. Come down to tool, you can hit X mirror. And that's your tool for mirroring uh, your uh, skeleton. So if I want to create two shoulders, one on both sides, exactly the same, I just select this little uh, joint here, Shift E. So Shift E will will actually mirror your extrusion. So I'm gonna come to about here. All right, and the mesh is gonna deform. Uh, we're gonna use automatic weight, so it's gonna deform smoothly, depending on where we place the bones. So I'm gonna create a few bones here that we're not actually ever going to use. I'm never gonna move these bones, most likely. Yeah, it may be a tiny bit, but not very much. I'm gonna come over here. I want to create this bone here, just so that this area of the mesh is kind of cut off uh, between this bone that I'm going to create and this bone here, because I don't want this to kind of uh, noodle around too much. You'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. So without hitting Shift E now, once you've actually got two sides to your skeleton, you can just hit E and it'll mirror on the other side, as long as you have this check right here. So if you hit E and right click, it'll just snap it back to the joint. Just hit G and you can move it out and, and see what you're doing there. So I think I want to actually smooth this out a little bit so we can kind of flap his wings. Let's go with this and rename these. Now you can use uh, um, names to actually easily mirror your pose. So for walking and, and running and stuff like that, it's a really useful. So let's go spine. I'm going to use period. You can use underscore, but I'm going to use period L. Okay, and this is just means it's the left-hand side. So if you're looking at the front of them, the left-hand side is on the right. So hit Control-1, you can see what side you're on. So it's easier for me to, to do this. So I'm going to go here and say, what do I call that? I called it spine. Okay, I called it shoulder.l. 
Well, this one, shoulder.r. Make sure it's spelt the exact same on both sides. We call this wing one, I guess. Sure, let's just go down the line, wing one. Dot L, wing one, right. Wing two, dot L. Now, if we go into pose mode right away, I can move this around. Just go individual origins and curl this. Right? So I can do that. I can select these here. I can hit Control C for copy and Control Shift V to, uh, to paste a mirror. And you see what happens there? So the roll right here on your item uh, in edit mode, sorry, when you select a bone, you have this option here for roll. Now, if you don't mirror the way we did there with the, the, the tool here on X mirror and Shift E to extrude from, uh, from the center, if you didn't do it that way, you might have some uh, differences between these here. And all you need to do is set the, the right side to the negative of the left side or vice versa, depending on what your rolls are. Okay, so just in case uh, you have something fooled up there. So again, in pose mode, just to check, right? Change this to whatever, Control C, Control Shift V, and just make sure that the same kind of transform. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you select the whole thing, press Alt R, Alt G, Alt S. That's to uh, reset your rotation, position, and scale. So Shift E, right, right from that one there. I'm gonna come down to about there and go to the side and make sure I'm just above that leg. Right, so I want to actually not transform the egg at all when he's running, right? Like I don't want this to twitch around as he's uh, moving his legs. So we'll, we'll find a new method for that. And it's on the side view here because these are on both sides now. I can just select one and have this mirror here like that. Come down about there. Say that. Now I'm going to rename this hips to root. Actually, that'll be fine. I'm going to rename this one hip L hip dot r and we'll come down let's call this upper leg dot l upper uh, blah, blah, blah. lower leg dot l i think it's a little too far forward as a matter of fact yeah we want this joint to be around there okay e go over there select it again and come over here if you just want to make sure their parents are correct uh how they're connected i think they're good but uh, you can just uh, select multiple bones and then select the last one as the parent, control P, and I want these to be connected, so that's good. Right? If you have another option usually for keep offset, we'll use that in a little bit. Come down here. Try and make these sort of the same. Yeah, I think that'll be good. You can just use your perspective view and go uh, go freely if you want. Snap to some axes afterwards, like so. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Now you don't want your uh, bones to be on, uh, sort of uh, more on one edge of a mesh than the other. So uh, all I'm saying is I want to bring this down around to the middle so that it deforms everything properly. Now right there it probably wouldn't have caused any issues, but in uh, more complicated areas it definitely can. Okay, so let's go in here and make three here. I'm just going to call this big toe. It's not really a difference. <laughs> That's okay. Big toe two dot L. Call this little toe dot L. Okay, so that's our rig. That's basically all we need. So uh, let's just make sure that these uh, legs are named properly. Let's go back to individual origins just so this buckles up a lot more. Okay, control C, control shift V. Okay, we're working with the uh, mirrored mirrored bones there. That's perfect. Alt R, Alt G. Okay. Control tab for object mode save. Okay, so the, just the, the last thing to check and make sure everything's working okay. Let's take this root bone right here in pose mode and G and just move it around and just make sure everything is connected to it. And if I move the root bone, everything comes with it. Okay, in case it doesn't, come in here, select whatever bones you have floating. Uh, select your, your parent last. You usually want your floating bones attached to this root bone. Control P and uh, you can say keep offset if they're not actually connected to the thing. Like if I come up here, control P, I can say keep offset, and that'll leave the bones where they are and parent them uh, with uh, these dotted lines, you'll see. Okay, so we're, but in uh, pose mode, as long as we've got uh, everything working the way we want, this is not moving the hips or anything like that. This moves the whole character. That's perfect. Okay, so next we're ready to actually weight him uh, to the skeleton. So let's uh, click the mesh, shift, click the skeleton, control P, and say with automatic armature to form with automatic weights. 
Okay, and that actually is, is pretty much ready. We might have some cleanup to do, but let's check it out. Let's go into pose mode again. Just move his head around. Yeah, so it's, it's not perfect, and that's okay. We can fix all that stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, the wings. So yeah, not exactly what we're looking for here. That's okay, we'll fix all that. So here's the noodling I'm talking about. So it's going to move his body a bunch when I move his wing, and we don't want that. Um... The legs turned out looks like perfect. Uh, it's not moving the egg at all. Okay, so that, that, that's good. 